If you are a new real estate agent, there is only a 13% chance you'll even still be an agent in five years. So why is it that so many real estate agents fail? What causes them to fail? I'm Ali Garced. I am a special agent turned real estate agent. I became a top 2% producer in my brokerage, EXP Realty, which has 90,000 agents. I did that my first year of doing this full time. I did that by using the checklists that were given to me, the scripts, the free trainings, the one-on-one -on -one coaching, the private coach and the group coaching, my social media and busting my working every single day, 12 hours a day at least. Most importantly, I would not have been able to do what I've done and made the income that I've made without the help of my sponsor and her sponsor, the entire EXP upline. They've all provided so many resources for me that it's been more beneficial joining them when they were all in North Carolina and I am across the country in Tucson, Arizona. I was still able to grow my business way more with that group while I was across the country than I would have had I joined a group locally near me and been shoulder to shoulder with somebody. It's 2023. You don't need to be shoulder to shoulder with anybody. You can learn and be surrounded by people digitally. That's exactly what I did. I found this group out there that were killing it with real estate investing. My sponsor owns like 74 rental properties. Her sponsor owns like a lot more multimillionaires. That's who I wanted to be. That's who I wanted to surround myself with. So I could take all of their lessons learned, not make those mistakes, and just start sprinting. If you're interested in booking a zero pressure discovery call about what it would be like to join our group, what kind of resources are we going to give you? What kind of support are you going to be getting? Book a 30 minute call with me. It doesn't cost you anything. We can talk about what your pain points are, how we could, or we can't help you grow. And I'll give you access to our trainings that we offer up to all agents of all brokerages. So that way you can get an inside scoop to see, hey, is this crew for me? And if it's not totally cool, at least you only wasted those 30 minutes, which will still be providing value to you because I'm still going to try to help you out. Think of it as like a free coaching call. And you can scratch our group off the list and continue carrying on interviewing other brokerages. The link to book that call is in the description below. So why do so many freaking agents fail every year? And how could you avoid being part of that statistic? Let's start with number one. Agents fear relinquishing control. And I think that hurts them so bad. They want to make sure that they are the ones that control everything. They want to oversee every portion of the transaction. And that only slows them down. When they get slowed down, they get overwhelmed. When they get overwhelmed, that leads to inaction. And then inaction leads to no income. The first example that I see a lot of people objecting is hiring a transaction coordinator. There should be no reason why you are doing your own paperwork. Not one reason. Now that's different from you not knowing what the paperwork is. Of course, you should know that listing agreement. You should know that offer to purchase like the back of your hand. But should you know exactly how to drag and drop the document and make sure that the initials are here and that the initials line up with buyer number one and buyer number two and drag and drop and make sure that it saves as a PDF? No, f that. That is a waste of your time that it's not an income producing activity. What is an income producing activity? Setting an appointment. What else? Going on the appointment. That's literally it. That should be your only focus. Knowing that contract will pay you thousands of dollars. Knowing how to drag and drop the little buttons of where in Skyslope or where in your database to find those files does not pay you anything. That is exactly what a TC is for. And the best of all is that they're only like $400 per transaction. And if you fall out of contract, they don't get paid. They only get paid when you get paid and they only get paid at the end of the transaction. It's pretty much free labor throughout the entire transaction. Their work is upfront. Now, a lot of people might think, oh, well, I'm not there yet. They don't want to relinquish control over to somebody else. And even if they do, they're like, I don't think I can afford a TC yet. That's Take the average commission check. Even if you are selling $80,000 homes, it's still worth paying a transaction coordinator $400 so you can keep the rest. What is the fix to the fear of relinquishing control? It's just getting started. Just trying it. Try it transaction by transaction. You don't have to think of it as you hiring a full-time TC. No, first of all, you pay per transaction, which is amazing. And think about what these higher and top producers are doing. It's cute when you're handling five to seven transactions a month, doing your own paperwork, sure. But do you see agents that are doing 10 plus deals a month doing their own paperwork? No. Look around you. And if you're not surrounded by performing agents, let me know. I will show you. I'll give you the behind the scenes to our trainings, to our crew that is killing it. 
I only did one transaction where I did my own paperwork. I said, never again. It took me two hours to even find the documents. No, that is not the highest and best use of my time. So what is the highest and best use of your time? Again, setting appointments, going on appointments, setting appointments, going on appointments. That's it. It's super easy within eXp to find your own TC. You can just go on Workplace. You can reach out to other eXp agents that have TCs and share a TC that way. I also even pay my TC extra to be able to take care of the offer as well. So that way I don't do any paperwork. I don't do any of it. Do I review it? Of course. That is my job. That's my reputation on the line. That's my client's money. But do I drag and drop and input the information? No. Hell no. So if you do not have a TC already, hire one today. Don't wait until these transactions are done and then you're going to hire one. Hire one today and say, hey, I'm already halfway through these transactions. Can I just pay you 50% of what your normal fee would be because I've already done 50% of the work? Work something out, but hire one today. There's a reason the pilots don't serve the drinks. The second reason why agents fail within the first five years is because they join the wrong community. The barrier to becoming an agent is so, so low. You pretty much have to just not be a felon. So we have agents for all walks of life, which is great. There is an agent for every client. There's a client for every agent. But if you don't choose your community very, very carefully and get an inside scoop as to what it's actually going to be like working in front of these people, you could be transferring and moving your entire business to the wrong crew. If they don't actually care for your well-being, you can be setting yourself back by a lot. If that group is toxic, if they're not about elevating each other and sharing their secrets about what they're doing to get listings, to get buyers, that's not the group that you want to be around. So before you join a crew, look around you and ask how many agents are also closing three to five, 10 deals, whatever your goal is. Are they also already doing that? Are you going to be learning from them directly? You need people in your crew because this is such a tough industry to be able to pour back into you as long as you're willing to take the action and the advice that they're giving you. Because there's nothing worse than giving advice to somebody and then they're like, oh yeah, great, cool. And then they continue asking questions, but they never took your advice to begin with. So they're just asking the same questions. No, respect their time. If you see that they're producing more than you and you want to produce like them and they tell you to do something, do it. That's it. It's not hard. The third reason of why new agents only stand a 13% chance of success in the first five years is because they have a victim mindset. They need to change their mind first. A lot of agents have come from a W-2 background where their mindset needs to change before they become a business owner. First of all, they need to realize they're a business owner. But a lot of times they're like, oh, what's in it for me? Gimme, gimme, gimme. What can I learn from this person, that person? You know, what am I taking, taking, take, take, take? And there is no give. They're just expecting to be given everything and handed everything. They want the broker to hand them leads. They want this person to handhold them and show them what buttons to press. The victim mindset is so common. That's not just within the real estate agent industry. That's everywhere. And it's super easy to tell who has a victim mindset and who doesn't with the simple question of, if their business isn't where they want it to be, by asking them why. If their response as to why their business isn't as high as they want it, they will typically respond with, oh, well, it's because I just had so much on my plate right now. My kids, I've gotten sick. The market is so bad. The interest rates, nobody wants to buy anymore. People are still buying, guys. Don't let life happen to you. Take control. Take ownership over your business. There are still top producers. There are still people making millions of dollars in real estate, even with these interest rates being close to 8%. Don't let the market dictate your business. You need to be able to flex. And the fourth reason why agents fail within the first five years before I head into what you can do about it are limiting beliefs. Now this goes hand in hand with the victim mentality, but limiting beliefs will definitely hold you back from performing at your peak. I used to have this one limiting belief, which I don't know if I want to share here, but I shared it in a group within my realtor community and my sponsor, 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 Micah Murwatt, she was actually agent number 333 out of 90,000 agents in ESP Realty. She called me out immediately. In that first meeting when I said that, which I didn't even realize was a limiting belief, she called me out publicly in front of everyone in the Zoom call. And she was like, hey, Allie, I'll stop you right there. That's a limiting belief. And I was like, no, it's true though. She was like, no, that's a limiting belief. And I loved that. It was instant feedback and it's only to help me improve. That's the type of conversations that you're going to be having when you join our crew. We give feedback like that to help everyone improve. We're not the ones that are like, oh my gosh, you're doing such a great job when really I'm holding back because I don't want to offend you. No, I'm going to tell you, this is how I think you can improve. 
And what's best about our community is that we take it. We take it and we fix it and then we keep going. So what can you do to avoid being part of that 87% of realtors that fail? You have to change your external circumstances as well as your internal. External is if you're in the wrong group. You're, you're surrounded by people that don't really give a shit about you or your business, don't want to help you, aren't giving you the resources, the checklists, the trainings, the coaching, the mindset that you need. You might be surrounding yourself around other realtors that just aren't doing the business that you want to be doing. And guess what? You're not going to be a gem in the rough. You're going to end up being just like them. You are who you surround yourself with. So surround yourself by people that are killing it. Or if you already know what you're doing, say you're on a formal team and you already know how to work a buyer and seller, you're just giving 50% away to a team lead who doesn't do anything for you anymore, or a broker who you might not have the closest relationship to and isn't helping you anymore, then get out of that team, move up the business. Our community is consistently checking each other on mindset and attitude. And we talk about how to live healthy lives. We even have trainings on that. We have trainings on investing in real estate, investing in car launches and businesses. We're all about retiring early and making work be optional. But most importantly, how to dominate in any freaking market. In our crew, you'll have access to me, my entire real estate Bible, my checklist, my onboarding checklist, which I guarantee that if you get through the 200 step onboarding checklist, you will easily do 10 transactions. Otherwise, I'll give you your money back for what you paid for EXP. But you actually have to put the work in and finish the whole checklist. You'll have access to my sponsor, who has been a real estate agent, crushed it, Keller Williams, Rookie of the Year for the North Carolinas before she switched over to EXP. Her sponsor, who was a Keller Williams CEO out of Fayetteville, his sponsor, we are all here for you to set up group calls, private calls. We have accountability pods. There are trainings every single day of the week, multiple times, multiple days. So if you want a sneak peek of what that looks like, text me. If you want to dive deeper into it, and I can show you the behind the scenes of the resources that you're going to be given, these checklists, the scripts, the accountability pods, the app that we have, book a call with me. Again, it's going to be zero pressure. And if it turns out you're like, hey, I'm not really a fan of your group. Cool. At least we only wasted 30 minutes. Otherwise, if you don't want to book a call, that's totally fine too. If this helped you at all though, comment below saying that it did because I want to know if this was helpful to you. And if you want the link to those trainings that we open up to all agents of every brokerage, no matter what brokerage you're a part of, that happened every single Thursday, comment the word training below and I'll send you the link. See you in the next video.